Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we get to go over the long-anticipated Sunlight Van 2. They did an awesome job. They kept a lot of the things that were great about the Van 1, and they tweaked some of the things that needed some polishing. Let's start off right over here on the kitchen. So I love what they've done. You have the actual residential mowing faucet here. It is a pull-out faucet, folks. Works very well. Again, that residential quality stainless steel bowl here. And next to that, you have the two-burner cooktop. And as you'll notice, the countertops in here, again, have an improvement over the Van 1 as well. They have a nice look to them. Again, very clean lines on here as well. When we drop down below, you don't lose any storage. You'll see you have the drawer right here. You also have storage over here on the side. This pulls out, you have a nice deep drawer here. So the thing I like about this is you can actually take some plates and you can stack them up this way. You know, especially if you build a little, uh, you can actually build something in here, you know, maybe kind of divide a couple plates out if you want. Or again, otherwise it's just deep storage for whatever else you want to stick in there. Right underneath, this one's actually access. You can take a look right down there. You see you have a valve there. Uh, so if you need to get down there, I'm, I'm going to guess that's a low point drain. I'd have to get outside and take a look. But uh, uh, again, you know, I'd have to do a little more digging, but they do give you easy access right there. Open this up. This is your three cubic foot refrigerator here with the drop down freezer compartment. You'll see that the thermostat is right there if you need to adjust it. But plenty of space in here, nice and easy to get into. As far as electrical outlets, because you have to have that in the kitchen, you do have one right over here. So that way you can quickly and easily plug in any coffee makers, toasters, things like that. Uh, if we take a look up at the ceiling real quick here, you can see that they kept the LED rope lighting going all the way around, which gives you know the sunlight that very unique look. And I love that they did it. It really is cool. It's easily adjustable by this right here. You can turn it on and off. You can also dim, uh, dim it down or keep it nice and bright like it is right now. Go over the rest of the control panel real quick here. You have your tank monitoring panel on there, water heater, your awning light. This one does have an awning out there. I'll show you that in a little bit. Battery disconnect inverter and water pumper on there too, as well as your voltage meter. Right over to the side here is your microwave. Pretty self-explanatory there. If you need to cook any frozen burritos or anything, have a nice uh, snack on the road, that is what you'll do it with right there. And then great storage all along the top here, folks. Look at this. You have like the airplane style latches right here, which are cool. The uh, self-supporting hinges. You know, it's the same thing that uh, Ir Irwin and Road Trek use on all of their high-end Class Bs. And I love that they put those same quality components in the sunlight. But you can see that's great storage going all the way across the top there. When we jump over to the other side, open this up for you. You have a Blu-ray player tucked away right here. And if you notice, folks, the, both the Blu-ray player and the TV, which is right down below, I'll show you in just a second, both of those are 12 volts. So that way, you know, even if you're uh, sitting in a Walmart parking lot and you don't have power, mm -hmm. you can run that, which is pretty cool. Uh, speaking of power, this one does have some different options than the Van 1. You can get the underhood generator in here. You can get an optional 200 watt solar panel. You also have some lithium ion options. The Van 1 could have a 200 watt. This one can actually have 400. You can have two banks, which you can see the controls for them right over there. So you have some excellent power options in here as well. I talked about the TV. You'll see that right across the way. This is on a swing arm mount. So if you want to swing it around up front, if you're sitting up in the driver and passenger seats and have those swiveled around, or of course you can flip it around to the back here if you're sitting along the sofas. There is storage in here, but it's accessible from the outside. I'll show you that in just a moment. And then if we go down, we get into the sofas. So another big change they made, instead of cloth, they went to the leatherette, which I think is great. Not only does it look a lot nicer, but it's also easier to clean up too. You know, it's not going to get gross over time. You can just wipe, uh, you know, anything right away, especially because you'll be spending a lot of time in here. You'll have friends coming in, maybe coming in off the beach. You know, the sand, again, you can just sweep up nice and easy there. Also, all along the walls, you have soft touch here. Even over here on the door, this is a huge improvement for me aesthetically. You'll see that they put the soft touch here on the door. It really gives it that more residential and, you know, and less industrial van feel. So I love that they did that. Windows all along this wall here. Uh, these windows, you obviously the privacy shades are drawn right now, but you can move this across. You'll see that you have a screen here. The windows actually do slide open, so you have the screen. 
or you can disconnect the two just like so, and then you have access straight out right there. So, you know, it is a very similar to style they had in the Van 1, but, you know, they, again, like I said, they kept a lot of the things that worked really well in here, which I love. So back down below, we'll take a look in the floor. You see that there are uh, spots for two pedestal tables. You do have two uh, tables in here. You have another spot for it up front. Again, I'll show you that one a little bit later. Across the way here, this does actually lift up. Most of your components are back here. You probably won't really want to get in here too terribly often. You see the cover. There's a couple screws you can undo to lift that up. If you need to get back there into your you know, water heater or if you have to get behind your furnace, things like that. But if you take a look over here, folks, you will see there's a tiny bit of storage right there. So, you know, I think that's pretty neat that uh, if you need to store something right over there, you have the capability to do it. And more importantly is on this side over here. So you'll see a couple things. One, this of course goes right in the center. It, when it's time to go to bed, you can remove these back cushions like so, and you have essentially a twin or single size bed there. However, if you guys like to sleep together, that's not a problem. You can take that piece I showed you. You can see the rail sitting right here. It'll sit right in the middle. And then you'll push these out, push these cushions down below. And now you have a king bed here where you can both comfortably sleep at night. Also, this does lift up too. And if you take a look underneath, look at that, folks. You have a ton of storage underneath there. I'll show you some of this when we go outside so you can kind of access some of this from outside too. The bag there is actually for our privacy screens up front. We'll be able to see those when we go take a look at the uh, cab portion of this coach. Take a look right back here. Again, you have another electrical outlet here. So if you need to plug in any cell phones or anything at night, you can do that. Thermostat is back here as well. This does control both your heat and your AC. This of course has a ceiling mounted AC. And then right next to that is your light for your bathroom. Speaking of the bathroom, let's take a look at that because they've done some awesome things here. Um, what you'll notice, or one of the issues I had with the Van 1 is the door was a little tricky, right? Closing off the bathroom door. They have really simplified it this year on the Van 2. So essentially you just undo the little latch right here. They redesigned these cabinets. This used to kind of be like a big folding cabinet that came all the way over. Now you'll see you open it up just like so. Still a wardrobe, just like you would want. But instead of having this big folding thing, you'll see magnets right here on the inside of the door. You have magnets on your slider door right here. Folks, you simply just slide this guy over and then boom, just like that, you have privacy so you can do your business. One of the things I like about it, this material right here, it looks like a cloth, but it's not. It's actually like a vinyl. So, you know, they were thinking ahead because that way, you know, after you're done showering, you don't have to worry about moisture or anything creating any mold. So they definitely did a great job there. And now you will still want to close that off. Of course, you have your actual shower curtain here that goes all the way around. But, you know, again, any of that latent moisture in the air is not going to cause any issues there. Uh, we'll take a look at the rest of the storage in here real quick. If you drop down below, you see you have big drawers here. So, again, this is where, you know, the majority of your clothes will go. Another drawer right down below and then another even below that. So as I mentioned, folks, a ton of storage right back here. The floor, of course, is your shower pan, foot flush lever toilet right over here to the side. And then the sink, you know, very similar to the van one, drops down just like so. And then right here, you have another mow and pull out faucet. So, uh, you know, that works great. Obviously that will kind of work uh, both as your faucet as well as your shower head there in order to wash off as well. And then in the back here, if we take a look at the back doors, again, you know, it looks a lot smoother. It doesn't have that industrial look that a lot of the vans have. You'll see you have windows back here, obviously, for privacy. These are your two tables. You have one in this door, one in the other. It's a little bit easier to see that when we go outside. And if you need to open the doors, they've included this right here. So the door handle is kind of tucked in here, and it's tough to get at. So they have this where, you know, you can unbutton this if you want. Basically, you just pull this pull cord. It's attached to that door. That way the door opens up nice and easily. One last thing I do want to mention, folks, if you take a look right down below here, I forgot to mention this earlier when we are talking about the beds, you do have two sets of these along this wall. So you have uh, a 110 outlet. You'll have another one on the other side there. You also have 12 volt right, whoops, right here. And then you have your dual USB ports right there. The Van 2 is built on the ProMaster chassis, and both the driver and passenger seats do swivel around so you can fully utilize this space 
even while you're parked. In order to do that, it's kind of tricky. It's a little bit different than most. A lot of them have obvious levers. On the ProMaster chassis, you'll see this plastic piece right down here. If you put your fingers underneath like this, you can actually pull it up and out like that, and that is what frees up the seat so it can swivel. So I had some people ask me some questions on that before, but that is how it's done. And as I mentioned, both of them, of course, do swivel for you. Nice, easy adjustment to scoot the seat back and forth so you can be comfortable when you drive. As far as some of the features on the inside here, we'll start off on the armrest, kind of work our way around. Uh, power mirrors in here, so it is nice and easy to adjust those. Your mirrors also do fold in, so that when you're parked, you can fold them in. You don't have to worry about someone clipping your mirrors. Power windows there as well, and then of course the lock. You can see right here the privacy shades. They're magnetic, folks. They're super easy to throw up. Same thing to take right back down. On the front one, of course, you flip your visors down once it's up here. You'll see you have Velcro, which you can remove, so that way you can get around the, uh, the rear uh, mirror right there too. So if we take a look down a little bit further, you have a little clipboard up front here, which is nice. Clip anything in there you need to. A little bit of storage over to the sides there. Again, you have a kind of a little cubby hole right here. Your stereo will be right there. Your uh, thermostat controls here for your heat and AC for the cab portion right up front are there. Also over to the side, you'll notice you have a USB port as well as your 12 volt right there. You also have another USB port tucked away right in here. It's a little bit tougher to see, but you have another one right there for you. Uh, hazard lights, hopefully you never have to use those. Those are right there for you. Three cup holders here in the center. You also have a cup holder down below on each side and either door. So plenty of cup holders here in the cab. You have a little extra hidden compartment right up here. This one does lift up. And then you also have your glove box right down underneath. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at the outside of the 2018 Sunlight Van 2. Right up front here, folks, this one is built on the ProMaster chassis. That houses a 3.6 liter V6, putting out 280 horsepower with 260 foot-pounds of torque. Also, if you take a look at the front, I love the big windshield on the ProMaster chassis. You sit nice and high and it gives you an excellent field of view, especially for a Class B. Of course, you have your windshield uh, wipers up there with your uh, sprayers there too. Now, as far as warranty, folks, you certainly don't have to worry. This is built by the Irwin Heimer Group, and they have a great reputation for warranties. They certainly stick with it here. As far as the chassis, you'll get a five-year, 100,000-mile warranty, and the rest of the coach has a two-year, 24,000-mile warranty. That's awesome, especially in this price point, this class. Folks, that's double what you generally get for this price, so you know that it's a well-built product, and they stand behind it. When you take a look at the wheels here, I love this too. And rather than having the steel wheels like they had in the Van 1, they went with the aluminum alloy. It really makes the outside pop, gives it that extra you know, piece that it was missing. And also, of course, the aluminum won't rust out on you, so it'll stay looking beautiful for years to come. Bi-directional mirrors, as you'd expect, so that way you can kind of uh, help cover some of those blind spots. As I mentioned, those are power, and the, both of them will fold in with the touch of a button. Right here is your main entry door into the coach. When we open that up, you see you have the fixed step right here, so it is easy to climb on in. This is the storage I mentioned we were inside. When you open this up, you'll see you have this storage located right up top, then that big storage area underneath, which is of course underneath that bench seat here on the driver's side. And as I showed, you also can lift up the cushions to access that as well. You also do have an electrical outlet right here, which is great for, uh, for the passenger. That way, if they need to plug anything in, they can plug it in right there, and you're all set. Making our way back a little bit further here, if you take a look up top, you'll see this one does have the awning on there. This is a manual awning, but it's super simple to use. It has the uh, twist pull, so you just twist it out, comes out nice and easy. You also have the LED light strip on there as well, as I talked about inside. Right down below, it's just magnetic. You lift this up. You'll see right there is your propane tank. You do have a propane quick connect right over here as well. That is a six gallon propane tank, easy to fill right there on your driver's side. When you come around to the back here, you'll see a couple things. One, I do want to talk about the brackets. Those are for your awning folks. That way when you have it extended out, you can attach the arms right there and that will give it that extra strength if it's a windy day like today. Right along the back here, let's open up the back doors. So as you'd expect, this is our bathroom, which is why we get the privacy curtains. But the thing I love about having a rear bath like this is it gives you a much larger bathroom than you normally get in a class B. A lot of times it's side aisle and it's super closed in and tight. Obviously not the case here. You have plenty of room to be able to shower. 
Uh, also, here are your tables. A little bit easier to see when the doors are open. The legs for those are attached right back here. They have a nice own little holding place there. And then this is the pole I mentioned for the awning. Again, you just put that hook in right up top, and then you just swivel it, super simple. When we close this, I do wanna show you right here underneath, you have your hitch, 35 pound hitch there, or sorry, 3,500 pound hitch uh, for towing capability, and then you have 350 pound tongue weight. So that way, you know, if you wanna put uh, like some bikes and stuff on there, you can do that. If you want an extra trailer behind you, you can certainly do that as well. Uh, has your four-way flat connector. Coming around to the off-door side, couple things here. Again, man, those wheels sure do look beautiful. Uh, but you have your, of course, furnace exhaust right here, six gallon water heater right next door. If we drop down underneath, this is something else that has changed. This is a huge deal in my opinion. Right behind that compartment, folks, is your macerator. That is awesome to have. Rather than you know, having the old school where it had the big canister off the back for your black tank, this one has the shared black and gray tank right there. Just take the macerator, dump it out, and you are all set. Chops everything up, uh, basically liquefies it, and that is a sweet system to have, especially in this price point. Right up front here, the, of course, you have your, um, your power right there. You can pretty obvious to see where that plugs in at. Your water will plug in here. Right next door, this is a dedicated gray tank for your galley, for that kitchen sink. Not only do you have the mixture of black and gray for the rear bath, but that sink has its own uh, six gallon gray tank right here. So you can hook a hose up and dump that nice and easy. Has the gate valve on there as well. So again, they, they know that it was a little bit of a pain with the van once, they certainly simplified that process with the van too. As far as fuel fill, that's right there. Pretty easy to access that as well. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the all new 2018 Sunlight Van 2 by Erwin Heimer. If you're interested in this beautiful Class B and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.